Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video of UI Tech Center. So today we have this old iPhone charger and a normal USB charger. But the th thing is, if you notice, there are two separate connections. So the previous guy that tried to do this just didn't know how to. So first step, just cut the two cables in half. So, there see I already cut, meaning I could just open this, but... I mean, he burnt the cables inside, so I'm not really sure it'll work. Then, now, we'll cut this one. So here you have two, your two cable connections. And here you have your not needed plastic one, so... Just throw that out. So first you want to do is just take off this part. I personally like to use... Like, just this plastic part. So I'm just going to use a knife for it. Okay, so I kind of started with my Android charger. If you notice, you might think that you tore off cables, but really this doesn't matter. All we need is our yellow, no, our red, white, green, and red cables, as you see here internally. Okay, guys, so once you tear that off, you'll get your, for example, on the Apple one, I got my red, my white, black and green if you notice the colors aren't that bright as in my android one whereas you could clearly tell what color switch so to open the cable up it's pretty easy all you gotta do is just with your hands or nails just go like this and then it'll snap right out all right so i'm going to go ahead and do that with all the wires which are in total eight the apple ones are more delicate. Be careful with those if you're trying to get to an apple one. If you're joining to android ones and it's pretty fine. You could just do that and not harm the cable. No, the method that we are doing today involves twisting the cable. Alright. So that like, as you see here, it kind of pops out. We don't want that to happen. We want it to be like a cold up. Okay guys. To make it more easier, do like for example the red one on the Android and the red one on the iPhone. Like do it like that, then tape them together, then continue on to to the next set. So we are going to put them together. Again, we're going to wind them up together. Like this. And we are not going to solder them, we are going to tape them. So we will grab our piece of tape. That is approximately this long, this long, sorry. So, we are going to wrap it around like this. And it should look like this. So you'll do that uh, with every single cable till it looks like this. So this should actually look like this. One, two, three. If you notice, there's only three and there are four cables. The reason why is because I joined two cables so that I don't get confused, which were the first two cables. So it's like joining these two like this. Okay, so this is how they will look. So now we just reduce it like this. But this looks too sloppy, so I'm just going to join it all together. Nope, doesn't that look better already? So now we have our end, which also looks bad, so we're just going to put it like this. So now we have our two cables joined together. And we even made this. So now we're going to test out what they know about iPhone 4. Okay, so here I have my Windows 7, which I'll tell you later in another video. If you notice, it's a Ubuntu laptop. So we'll just plug it in like this. Perfect. Now we have our old iPhone 4. If you notice, it just needs charge. So we're going to connect it and see if it works. Perfect. So I'm gonna take a while. Do it still need the connection though? Apparently we do, so we'll just get a we'll just get an adapter. So now it's actually showing that it's charging. 
But let's not trust the siphon because uh, in the beginning it just didn't make me trust it. So we're going to switch it to this. So this is a very uncharged iPod Nano. So as you can see it says this. So we're going to wait and see and then we're going to see if we could transfer files to this mp4 and I mean mp3 okay now it's been like over three minutes so let's see if it charged so it says it didn't but it might be broken No, but it doesn't show that the battery is low. And we got a good cube too. Oh, but... Okay. Yeah, then it, it, it has to work because... It, it doesn't show signs that the battery is low or anything, it just... I think it's just like my graphics or something. But other than that, it's alright. So now you see how to build your own cable. Oh, and it's also kind of hot from the charging, so that's why. Now, if we put to charge this iPhone, let's see what happens too. So now the iPhone shows that it is charging. Problem is, that thing was unplugged in correctly. If you notice, it's a little complicated here. But it is charging. We know how it works, so. Hope you have fun building your own.